Hey guys! Okay, today's video is about my experience at Makeup Designery Europe because a few weeks ago, as some of you might already know, I did a course in makeup artistry at their school and it was a really great experience for me and I never expected it to be that cool. Before I went there, I was already looking up some other people's experiences or if someone had a review on the school, um, but I couldn't find anything really informative so it's like, okay, I'm just gonna hope for the best. Um, I was like, okay, when I'm back in Vienna, I'm just gonna film my own makeup designer experience video because it might help some of you out and if you're thinking about going there, this might help you with your decision. First, about the school itself. Um, as I said, Makeup Designer Europe, um, I went to their kind of headquarters because um, they have several schools in Europe, like for example, they have one in Milano, in Berlin, um, and some other places, I'm not sure, like I don't know by heart, um, but they have a lot of schools and makeup designery actually comes from the United States and they have um, one school in Los Angeles and one in New York, I think, and their schools are really like, they kind of, I think I read they're the Harvard of makeup schools, I mean I'm not sure if that's true, but they're really good and they're really really expensive in the US because they have these really long um, programs that last more than like three months sometimes so um, that's not what the European schools are about the European schools have courses that are like two and a half weeks at max but otherwise um, all the teaching and stuff is actually the same because um, in every makeup designery school um, the lessons are taught in English so for me that was great because I didn't have to learn Slovenian or something um, and also it is great because when you're in the makeup artistry business you have to know English, you have to communicate with people and a lot of it is gonna be in English. I'm just gonna talk about my makeup designery school, so the one in Ljubljana. I found it very professional. Um, it's not huge, like it's not like a school school, but they have this one room that is the classroom. You have a lot of mirrors and really great lighting. You have those makeup chairs that are really famous and it's a really great environment if you want to apply makeup. Um, it's very hygienic because you always sanitize your hands and stuff. Okay, now about the course that I took. I took the Beauty Essentials, that's the Pro 1 course. It's basically all about corrective beauty makeup, so anything from preparation of the skin to applying lipstick. Anything that enhances your features. It's nothing like avant-garde or something. It's really just, you know, how to apply eyeshadow so the eyes will look awake and open and big and lifted and all that stuff, you know, that's what we learned. So as I already said, the course lasted about two and a half weeks and it cost me about 2,200 euros, which is, wow, it's a big amount of money, like I totally get it. But if you count in, for example, the material costs, the kit, the makeup kit is worth like a thousand euros and um, you have lessons every day for seven hours. Um, and the instructor needs to be paid as well, and the rent for the school needs to be paid, so um, I, it's not as bad as it sounds in the first moment, because it's a really, really intense course, and you have a lot of classes. Another thing that I found interesting about Makeup Designery, which I didn't know, is that you have this very educational approach. So you have textbooks, you have workbooks, you get homework almost every day, and it's not just... Um, you know, read a passage in your textbook, but it's really a lot of homework actually. I, sometimes I sat there until 11 o'clock at night because I just had to do my homework. So, um, it's tough, but it's very, like, beneficial because you learn a lot. For example, we had to draw, I don't know, 20 eyebrows, 20 pairs of eyebrows or something, and right now I think I'm pretty good at doing eyebrows because I learned it after doing 20 eyebrows. So it's just is a really good approach and it really, you know, helps you to learn stuff and get new skills easily. Okay, so now about the pros of the school because I have more pros than cons. So I'm gonna start with pros. First of all, as I said, it's a very intensive course. It's very, like, it's a short time and you learn a lot. Like, you really, every day when you get home or to your hotel room, whatever, you are exhausted because you did so much the whole day. Like from 9 o'clock in the morning to like 6 at night, you work. You have one hour of lunch break. But otherwise, you do makeup all the time. You take notes all the time. You listen. You're really 
Like, it's not like normal school because in high school I was like, okay, I'm just gonna pay attention in maths and then in psychology I'm just gonna sleep. But here you can't because you pay so much for it, so you really want to have all the knowledge you can possibly get. So, um, that is for me a pro. Another thing is the school is, as I said, very professional and very organized. Like, every step that you learn is written down in their, like, instructor, handbook, whatever. They know exactly when to teach you what and when to talk about certain things. So everything is very organized and I like that because it's not just, like, if... Like, I do the course, I learn this, and if another person does the course a year later, they're gonna learn something different. No, it's always the same. So all of the makeup designer um, makeup artists have learned the same things at one point, so that is really good, I think. Also, like, the people. The people are so nice. Like, all the instructors we met, all the makeup artists that work there, they're so, so kind and nice people, and it was... It was really hard when we had to leave, like for me especially because I don't live in Slovenia, I have a long journey to get there. So it was like, I was, I had to hold back tears because it was so sad because they were like the nicest people ever. Don't be afraid um, to go there because I was kind of afraid that they would be bitchy because I'm so young and kind of not perfect in a way. They are so nice to everyone and they even teach you you have to love yourself, you have to embrace everything you have and beauty comes from the inside and no one is ugly, everyone is beautiful, you just have to enhance the right features and it's perfect, like everyone can be a beauty queen. So for me um, Ljubljana was a really great city, it is kind of similar to Vienna so it was like home for me. It was, it's, it's a bit smaller of course than Vienna and stuff but it's really nice especially in the summertime, um, sitting around the riverbank, it's perfect, like, totally recommend going there also if you just want to go on vacation, it's beautiful. As pro that I have, because I couldn't think of more, is that it's in English, it's all in English, so anyone from all over the world could go to that school and understand if, I mean, if they speak English, of course. This English thing could, for some people, be a con, because we had one student from Italy, and for her it was really hard to you know, get everything that was going on because she didn't speak perfect English. For some people that might just be too hard and I totally understand this. I could have never done this course in French even though I've had French for like five years at school. It would be like too hard, so... And the only other con that I could think of was that it's very, very, very exhausting. I was so tired all the time because we got up pretty early and we finished very late and then I had to do homework and it was just it's hard if you have any more questions on the school leave them in the comments or inbox me like anything you want just ask because I'm I mean it's just my experience so I can't really tell you about the details of every course and stuff okay that's it with this video I hope you liked it I hope you give me a thumbs up if you did and I will see you in my next video. Bye!